Hey everyone, Rome here. Today for Is This Game Any Good? We're going to be playing Game Dev Tycoon. This is a game I've played a lot more uh, before. I haven't really been playing it that much lately, but it is a very good game actually. It's basically a game where you are a, a game developer, basically. Uh, okay, uh, you get to choose your character. Company name, what shall we call it? Let's call it Red Holmes Shitty Game. Ah, Shit Games. There we go. Say your name. Well, that would have to be Red Holmes. Uh, let's see, you can just, you can choose like, uh, you know, hair, what color of, <laughs> yep, that seems uh, very good. Yep, I will keep this. Unlock hints. You have played this game before. You can choose to use all previous game hints in this new game. Would you like to import? Yeah, why not? Uh, basically, the more you play the game, you'll be able to get what they call hints. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to develop a new game. Let's call it uh, uh, the shitty shooter. Where you choose an... Oh no, I, I don't have first person shooter yet. Okay. Uh, shit ninja. Yeah, I know I'm being very immature, but uh, <laughs> fuck it. Uh, I, I would say an action game. Actually, no. Action game wouldn't... Uh, an RPG? No. Adventure. Adventure seems to be okay then. Let's see. Let's put it on the PC. As I'm a big fan of PC and all that. Let's give it 2D graphics. You have to push the limits on this one. Start development. And now you'll pretty soon... Yeah, I get this. You know... Uh, for my ninja adventure game, what should I do? So, uh, since it's an adventure, the story and quest could be very important. The engine, I would say the engine is more important. No, gameplay is more important than the engine on this one. Uh, you have to basically balance this out and find like, okay, what's the perfect combination? Uh, as you can see here, my with the hint here. Giving this maximum is probably a good idea. But if you are playing this entirely fresh, you are going to have to um, guess your way. You're basically like, okay, for a strategy game, what would be the most important thing? You know, if an adventure game, ne and, um, let's see, level design, eh, not that. Dialogues, because it's a very quest and uh, story heavy. Artificial intelligence, nah, I don't think so, not that much. Yeah, I'll give it a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, so you, just, you basically sit there, you can see bugs are piling up up here. Uh, at the end, I can basically choose to either rush out the product, or I can, yeah, you can choose there, like, 2D graphics. Or do you want sound? So, yes, I do want to have basic sounds. It's not a text, sound is not that important, but I do still want to have sound. World design, I would think is pretty important. Graphic, world design, let's put that up there. And uh, yeah, at the end, I can choose. Do I want to just give it some more time? But uh, the problem is in the beginning, there is no negative side effect really to wait and let the boats go out other than the time goes by every month you have to pay rent you know like a real game developer <laughs> shit ninja is ready new new topic new combo engine gameplay story quest dialogue you basically you will level up all of this and it basically gets you know you you are basically just getting better and better and better at making games I actually think this is a rather fun game, all in all, as simulators go. <laughs> the first review for a new re released game, Shit Ninja, came in. Ah, okay, it wasn't that good, but alright. Five, adventure game works well on PC. Wow, that's the best thing he has to say. Fun at stages. Wow, thank you. I guess you could say that this was a very shitty game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living up to my company's name. <laughs> so, you not only do you have to um, pay uh, for your rent, which is 8,000 per month, 
you also have to pay for making the game. Or no, not only do you have to pay to make the game, you have to pay it for rent. Meaning you have to earn money. If you don't earn money, you know, a shit ninja. It's actually gay. Oh, wow, it's like, that's actually s selling quite a bit. Hmm. We might actually earn some... Uh, yeah, oh, and if you gain fans... Gaining fans... Basically, I think everything above five, sometimes four and three, will will at least give you fans. I think four and three and four might just, you know, make it so that they don't leave. But if you get like ones and twos in score, your fans will leave you. <laughs> Basically, if you became becomes become EA. Let's see. Uh, what, what first? This is just topic. The Wild West. A mature plus plus plus. Okay. A mature action game on um, the PC. As you can see also, development costs for the G64 is 20,000, while the PC is 5,000. So it's a lot cheaper to go on the PC as well. Let's, see, watch, uh, let's just call this the... Uh, wild... Wild... West. No, 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 wait, I actually like that movie. <laughs> hmm. The shitty West. It's so shitty out there. Let's see. Well, for an action game, you should have as good uh, graphics as possible. As it is an action game. Let's see. Engine is really important here. Story, not at all. Let's put this down a little bit so that about half of it goes to engine. The rest goes to gameplay. As a, you have to like keep in mind, and also the way you get those hints, I think you have to make game um, reports or something like that. This is pretty important. Dialogue, not at all. Artificial intelligence. You know, most action games, you do want the artificial intelligence to actually be good. Don't you? So, as I said, a lot of this is just logic. For an action game, the story isn't that important. You might still want to have story, but it's, that's not what you want to focus on. Uh, world design is, yeah, but good sound and good graphic. Graphics, yeah, that's probably where we want it. I want to have some world design in there, though. Because, again, you know, good design. Uh, but in this game, do not despair. In the beginning, chances are you're not going to be making, like, uh, blockbuster games, you know. Because, as you can see, when you level up, you do basically make um, better games. You level up more, and basically, if you, if this is level 2, you will get more points in gameplay than you did before. You can still get, like, 10s and such, but chances are you'll get... Um, <laughs> well, not 10s in the beginning. Oh, this, is a, this one seems to be a good one. No, never mind. It's it, it's shitty as well. Well, at least it's not going against our slogan. <laughs> uh, well, oh no, that's a five. You can basically guess where it's going to go. Please go give me seven. Yes, and the average score is six. Eh, that's not too bad. It, I mean, it's not too bad for a shitty game, you know that. Yeah, that sold fifty six. I can show you guys game. Uh, also, control wise, you just click on the screen and. Uh, as, you also, as you can see, there are a couple of references in the background. You can only see one reference here. Later on, when you get a bigger area, you'll see a lot more. So, game, generate a game report. This one. They got a solid 6. Ah, it, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, take this one. It uh, takes a little bit of time. It now, <laughs> The funny thing is, as you, the years go by, this is basically... What? Not even the night. This was before Nintendo and such kind of came out. Uh, so later on, ga other game consoles will come out. Graphics seems to be very important for this type of game, and dialogue seems to be not at all important in this type of game. So when you get make a game report, you'll actually be able to see. Let's see what can we get here. Zombies. Yeah, why not? Start research. Uh, only problem is that when you research, ooh, the shitty West is actually uh, 
getting a lot of, sh a lot of <laughs> shit. <laughs> she, uh, record of 10,000 units sold. That's actually a very nice milestone. As you can see, we're actually earning a lot of money right now. Which is extremely good. When we get a bigger area, we'll actually get more people as well. Meaning that our games will basically get be just get better and better. As you'll have more people working on every single thing. Later on also, you'll actually be able to have people specialize. You can have one person specialize in gameplay. So, uh, because later you'll also have energy. So if, if, when they work, you can't really overwork them. They have 100% energy and time, and that's the, all you have to work with. But if you specialize them, you'll actually get more out of it, and I think they will consume less energy. I, I think. Don't hold me to that one. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, research the topic. Zombies. Let's make a zombie action game. A zombie... Uh, actually, zombie simulation. Yes, no, zombie action is probably where. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I am not <laughs> that shitty zombie game. So when people talk about it, it's like, oh yeah, you mean that shitty zombie game? Ah yes, it w it was made by those shitty people, wasn't it? Let's see, the story and quest again. Nothing important there. Gameplay, I guess I'll take the gameplay up a little bit more this time. See if we get some more out of it. As I said, you will not get that many um, tens and anything above six really in the beginning. Unless if you do everything perfectly. A widely successful arcade game, Dinky King. <laughs> Ninvento is known for... <laughs> yeah, this is when Nintendo launched their first gaming console. So, to be honest, I never. It's expensive to build, make games on other you know, consoles and such. Let's take this down a little bit this time. Um, because, well, you have to pay a license first. You pay, pay for the license to even um, make a game on the Nintendo. And then you have to. Uh, let's just put the world, world design down a lot on this one. Uh, then you have to pay to extra compared to the PC to even make games on uh, that, w even with the license. So you can actually sit here and just let the game, uh, as you get out bugs, it will actually get, go more in technology and design as well. You know, you can just sit here, the more, basically the more you have in both of them, the better. Now finish. And the shit that's, and that shitty zombie game is done. <laughs> Come on. Ah, yes, leveled up in graphics. Awesome. Good judgment. Create a game with a good topic genre combination. Ah, the Nintendo Entertainment System is now out. Oh. Oh, that actually seems to be a good one. No, never mind. <laughs> so, wait, 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 is that a good one? No? Oh, fuck. A four? Oh, no. Oh, god damn it. The world is not ready for our, our shitty games. <laughs> that shitty zombie game did not do very well on the market. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but hey, the more fans you have, the basically your fans will buy your games. Let's see, let's buy, uh, make a uh, pirate game. A pirate adventure. Yes. And as you can see here, Oh god damn it, I'm basically making that game. Ah, oh, what was the name called again? Uh, Monkey Island? <laughs> Shitty Isle. Oh no. I think. Is this how you. Is this how you type it? Question mark? There you go. Yeah, that's a good name. Yeah, my dyslexia isn't always the best thing. <laughs> Story, right up there. Engine, gameplay, I don't know. Don't, I should have been making a lot more game reports as they will actually tell me what's what's a good combination and what's, you know, all of that stuff. It's just impressed by your talent. In uh, contrary to business with your skills like yours, uh, if you're ever short on cash, just let me know and we will uh, work something out. Contract work. Yes, we finally got contract work. 
Um, I will show you guys what, exactly what contract work is afterwards. Let's see. AI down a little bit. Level design needs to be a little bit still there. I put it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll put it right there. Thank you, the green heart. Thank you for pushing. Oh, I actually want to say something really funny about this game. Um, if you pirated this game, you will basically have people pirate your game. I think that's actually a genius way of doing it. And uh, basically, over time, more and more and more and more and more people will pirate your game. I just think that's fucking genius. It's like, make some. F you know that people will pirate your game because there are some, you know, people. Some be even it's a it's an indie game, so I would never pirate it. Also, I don't pirate anymore. I have, I have money now. I don't. Pour, I'm not poor anymore. Um. But you make something out of it. You know that there will probably be people that uh, will pirate your game. Make something funny out of it. You know, it's like I said, this one you basically like, yep, yeah, oh, level up all over the board. Now we'll basically just by by being us make a lot of uh, better games. Ooh, what? Wait, wait, seven. Ooh, is this shitty game going actually going to get a good review? Ah, informed gamer, I hate you. You are my nemesis. Everyone else seemed to like it. Why? Why do you do this? Why? <laughs> damn you, damn you, man. You can also get... A I've heard that you can also get... Get like, uh, if he was 11s and 12s. <laughs> if you do it good enough. Ah, we can actually make our... I'm gonna make my own game engine. As you can see, Shitty Island is actually selling a lot. So we'll have more than enough money to uh, last us while this goes on. <laughs> Ten more fans. The Nintendo Entertainment System has been released. Oh, actually, no, wait. It's not called Nintendo in this world. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now, basically, when I can make my own game engine... That's basically the way you want to go if you want to make good games here, not just go like combinations. Successfully research custom game engine, game tutorials and mono sound. And it's like yeah, no, let's, let's make a game report on the shitty zombie game that only got five point five. Oh, it's so shitty. Sky, uh, no. Oh, wow, that. Wow, we got brought off the market already? Mother of God, that one was like. barely even touched the market. And also, making game engine actually gives you more research. Game report. Now, that, this is game report. Sound seems to be important for this type of game. Level design seems to be impo quite important for this type of game. Hey, as I said, you. Be it, uh, create custom game engine. Let's see, I want to have 2D graphic version 2, I want to have linear story and save games. The shitty engine. As you see, it costs a lot of fucking money, but I am now basically money-wise where I started. But here's the thing, even though I'm now where I started money-wise, I have fans and I have a much better game engine. And with this, we'll actually take game engine complete. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Contract work. You have three weeks. Uh, develop a simple library management system. Oh yeah, these guys aren't... Uh, these aren't the, are the, what I was hoping for. Um, but they do pay for a little bit. And, you know, it's like four weeks to you have to develop all of this. I'm like, yeah, but you can also take other types of contract work later on, where they basically tell you, hey, can you make us an action game? You're like, hey, why not? <laughs> uh, let's make... Hmm... Uh, no. Rhythm? No. Actually, you know what? I will go for zombies again. But then again, this time a zombie simulator. 
Uh, as you can see, the Nintendo Entertainment System license costs eighty thousand. Development cost thirty thousand. Yeah, that's that's a hundred and ten thousand to even develop on it. Yeah, PC all the way, the PC master race and all that shit. Uh, <laughs> another, another shitty zombie game. Yes, another shitty zombie game. And now we can to, uh, choose the two D graphics. Version 2. This all helps you in your, with your game. You know, let's put this up, this down. Let's give it a Oh, it's a simulator. We don't really... Actually, no, they don't mind whatever the fuck you put in it. Uh, let's see. Put the engine up a little bit more there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, it, that is basically just adds more and later on you can get research like game saves so that people can actually save their games and such uh, let's put this up a little bit more there yeah that should be about it uh, uh, as I said better engine more money you, ba you basically don't need the levels and of course since I, my character's leveled up since last time well Ah, <laughs> uh, as I, I like this game. It's very simple. It's not like that. It's not going to be like blow your mind or something. But that's fine. I think it's a very good game. Okay, let's try to squeeze out one or two. No, oh, whoops! Don't make more bugs. Okay. Oh yes, technology ten thirteen. Yeah, I'll live with it. Uh, oh yeah, two D version two graphics. I forgot, you actually have to level up everything. Okay, oh. God damn it, it's the Nintendo Entertainment System is uh, selling for a lot. Oh. Ah, okay, this is not. Uh, this isn't going to be like a mind blowing game. Oh well. Uh, it's getting. It's going to get like a 6. 6.25? Yeah, it's not too bad. Let's make a game report. On the shitty ninja game. <laughs> and see here, yeah, that's actually selling rather well. Which is very good for me, seeing as I used a lot of money on that engine. It says, game tape seems to be not very important for this type, engine seems to be not very important for this type. I said, you'll actually learn, as you see, with all the pluses and minuses that you see when I'm making games, you will actually learn you know, what, what is best for this. You can also, which I kind of like, let's just make an uh, another ninja adventure game on the PC. But let's see, uh, what even is this shit? Let's see, it's okay combo, but we're going to put make it text based. It's going to be very basic. <laughs> We could actually have started up by making uh, engine gameplay. Let's put it like this. Uh, yeah, let's get. Oh, I already have save play, save uh, games, save states and such. Oh, cool. <laughs> so I like this game. Ooh, for adventure dialogue a lot. Level design, dude. This is fucking uh, a text based artificial intelligence. Is there any artificial intelligence in a text based game? No, not really. <laughs> Let's play some Pong! Let's see, for this we want... Uh, I guess graphics is not important at all. I guess we have a little bit of sound. <laughs> As a this game... This game shouldn't, by all aspects, give me anything really. Any kind of good reports at all. Please don't give me a good report. <laughs> don't end up giving me like tens now, that would suck. New record! Release game. Let's hope for some shitty, something shitty. Some players are more popular, younger gamers create more mature age groups. As women are more remarkable. Yeah. Basically, you have to keep in mind what you make. Yeah, target audience. You have to keep in mind what you make it on. Where, where is this? What, six? Damn it! 
<laughs> Why can't I make an actual shitty game? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm t I think I'm trying too hard to make it actually not be shit. <laughs> eh, well, it's the worst game so far, I think. Eh, oh well. We made a shitty game compared to everything else. Now, is this even going to sell anything? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> what even is this shit? The game, that's a fucking text-based game, is selling a lot. Holy fuck. That is actually selling quite a lot. As I actually kind of like this game. If you want to play a game, a game development type of game, this game is really good. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's take a quick look at the settings. Uh, there's not much at all. You don't really need any settings on this thing. Not really. You can actually install mods. Ah, oh, cool. It seems like they have Steam Workshop as well. High scores! No scores. <laughs> well, they have one score. Red on shitty, red on shitty games. Oh, I can actually show this one, which is much, much later in the game cycle. Uh, okay, I don't need to know this. <laughs> Achievements, stop this. Um, in this one, you can basically make your own console as well. So in here, they're just sitting making the my new console, and uh, just um, uh, repairing it and uh, fixing everything. Oh God, <laughs> level ten character. Yes, I know. I have pretty much every uh, achievement in this game. Also, can I see? Can we see any other references in here? Uh, I'm not so certain if I can see a reference in here, but here you can see, you know, Super Meat Boy, I think that's a Mario, that was, um, oh, I, don't, I forgot its name, I know the game, don't worry, I just forgot its name, uh, let's see, in here you see, like, <laughs> Hero Citizen, you know, Star Citizen, which is coming out, I'm so excited for that one, Halo, you see, like, references all over the place. 8-bit back. Yeah, because it got retro. Foosball. I love this. Also, you have got gaming conventions. Let's have a large booth. X2, the continued. Oh, yeah. I had, like, a ton of fucking games. Wait. Oh, let's make a... Let's quickly make a game before... You also can make... You can develop sequels. <laughs> wow. As you can see, because everything is so high-leveled and such... Well, let's see, money is not a problem. <laughs> but as I said, I really like this uh, game. It's a, it's not too difficult once you get a hang of it. As you can see, it, 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 not everything is, uh, you know, perfect. Fallout 5. I should actually have made... Uh, yeah, this was also... <laughs> can you guess the theme of pretty much every fucking game here? Yeah, that was just a lot of uh, pony-related game names. But uh, I really like this game. It's it's fun. And I don't think it's that expensive. I think it is actually probably rather inexpensive. So I think you should all, you know, if you have the money for it, give it a try. It's it, it's very fun. Like, it, you know, if, you like, if, you, if you think this looks interesting for you, give it a try. Because it's fun. Yeah, that's basically it. It's fun. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next video.